Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo, and I'm keeping a close eye on the side of my screen that you can't see. You can only see me. You don't really want to see my screen. It's not all that interesting. The biggest challenge I have with my play shop here, which you have probably come to know and love over the past however many years you've seen it, uh, is lighting. I've always struggled with lighting in here, and I think I've got a decent setup for at least a live uh, broadcast into me doing a live stream, Diana. Hey. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm just getting pixie. Yeah, why are you getting pixie right as soon as I start streaming? <laughs> Literally, I've been doing like <laughs> setup work for like an hour in here. Aww. Well, now people are going to want to see you, and I, I don't know if you're ready to be seen. <laughs> Did, did something happen that I need to know? Why does she have a little friend? I don't know. Can you guys even hear Diana? Uh, you Swear, she's not just a voice in my head. <laughs> well, yeah, she kind of is sometimes. Hi, they they probably can't hear you. Even if they can, they don't believe it's you. They, they probably think I, I synthesized your voice or something. Hey, Thomas Carter, thank you for being a member. Long enough to be a Boba Fett. <laughs> uh, so happy everybody could join. Uh, I am now in uh, in week one of my 47th year on the planet. And I gotta tell you, feels a lot like uh, 46. Hey, Ben, good to see you as well. And Adam, too. Not to, you know, say not hello to everybody else. But what, what's a not hello? I'm not trying to, like, uh, um... What's the word I'm looking for? God, everything just, everything happens this way. As soon as I press the live button, then I can't remember words. Uh, deny? I'm not trying to deny you my love and appreciation at all. Uh, I do have some things, though, uh, some pickups this week, some finds, some discoveries. And uh, one of the things I definitely want to uh, uh, mention was um, Diana, of all people, again, this is just a Diana day, uh, but, you know, let's face it, around here, that's kind of every day. And now you can hear kids and dogs in the background. It was silent, I swear. It was silent for like an hour. And I thought, perfect time. Kids are outside playing. Pixie's quiet. She's sleeping. She never barks anyway. But then this happens. So if you hear any uh, rowdiness in the background, that is definitely not me. Uh, so Diana forwarded me a group, a Star Wars group on Facebook. And normally I'm like, okay, Diana, whatever. And I ignored it. And, and, and then finally, uh, she showed me something that they, they were sharing uh, information on the child, the child merch, or Baby Yoda. And I said, all right, well, let me jump in, because I've, of course, highlighted a few uh, of my favorite Baby Yoda things uh, in, in these weekly Geeky Weekend streams, or, or broadcasts, or recordings, however I'm trying to get this done. I like doing it live, you know me. We'll do it live! We'll do it live! But don't start meowing, Thomas, that's all I ask. If you're going to be a cat... Um, do you hear that? Can you hear that? Maybe the mic I have is working really well, but there's now this hiss. There's there's water running. So we choose right now. <laughs> I swear this is either the best or the worst time to do a live broadcast. You want real life, man. This is as good as it gets. This is the return of vlogging. This is as good as it gets right now. Uh, I do not have the time nor the patience to pick up a camera and video edit anymore. Hence, live. Now it's gone. Okay, so I joined this group, and I gotta tell you, um, I've, I've joined a lot of groups, Star Wars groups, you know, over time, Discord channel, or servers, uh, uh, Facebook groups, of course, you know, Twitter's, you know, my half my feed is Star Wars, and um, this one, it, it, it's all around Celebration Anaheim, or at least the community around it, not necessarily the official channel, but like the fans around it. I've never seen more engagement in a Facebook group related to Star Wars than this one that Diana invited me into, so it was a shock. Uh, so I'm not broadcasting in there, but I am sharing screenshots of these uh, recordings in social. Hey, there's Pixie. Pixie, you want to say hello? Okay, there goes Pixie. She's going to her Darth Vader bed. Can you find your way there? Can you find their way? Oh, uh, this is not good. That means the door is open. That means Jedi and a friend might trot in. Will that happen? I have no idea, but it might. So prepare yourself. Uh, so anyway, I've been sharing the screenshots in the group and some discoveries, and it, it was actually really nice uh, to, to find a community, even though I've joined collector communities and Star Wars communities, one that was just seemingly a lot like me. 
and I, I think that's all what we want from the internet, right? To join communities that uh, you know make us feel like ourselves, where we don't have to put on a, a face or, or do things that other people want us to do. We can just be ourselves. And uh, this particular uh, Facebook group, um, I, I hesitate to link it in the description. I could, if anybody asks. Uh, I, I probably should, now that I've mentioned it, and not that anybody checks video descriptions, but uh, either way, I, I'm, uh, uh, I'm, I'm happy to, to have found a group recently that has me excited about showing them what I'm finding and, and what I'm discovering on a weekly basis, to, beyond anybody who might tune in for, for the, the, the videos that I might be producing these days, uh, even though I, I know these videos are more for me than possibly anybody else. Oh, except for, uh, is that, uh, it's hard for me to read because I've, let me scroll in. You have a ton of Lego Star Wars sets. Useless, usless, Jeffries. Well, I can, I, I can promise you that's definitely not useless. Uh, but more Lego Star Wars sets, uh, better. That should be the more the better. But since I deleted the article the first time, I decided to not say it the second time. Okay, so I'm, I'm playing with my ball. Here, this is a ball that Liz sent, uh, Liz Bradshaw, Pez Liz. Uh, she's been busy, so she hasn't been able to tune into a lot of the live broadcasts. You can see the problem that I've had with lighting, why I don't necessarily show off a lot of things that are white. Uh, but this is a part of a set. The set is unlicensed, though, uh, and the, you know, I always get concerned when when these things happen, but still fun. Uh, Jedi's been having fun with the ball, bouncing around with it. Uh, beach ball set, not licensed, but... For a for a bootleg, I would say pretty darn solid. Uh, very happy with the uh, the the blow ups, the blow up balls, beach balls. We don't really go to the beach, so more they're more like you know blow up balls. If I can get it tilted just right, a beach ball set. Does this mean I have to like start singing Beach Boys music? I don't want it. Don't don't make me do it. Uh, set of three, 14 inch beach balls that you don't have to play with at the beach, uh, which is nice because I'm not going. Uh, but I think the funniest thing about this, and I'm going to see if this works. I'm going to hold it up really close. It says, warning, use only under competent supervision. So I think we've got the, na the, t the title for this video. Warning, use only under competent supervision. You guys, get, you, okay. I can't, I've locked the exposure. Uh, so it's going to look horrible. It's going to be blown out. But there we go. You see, can you see that? Warning, use only under competent supervision. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's that's a story of my life right there. Uh, hey, Roland. I probably should not be tossing balls around, especially with a dog in the house or, or in the in the office. Uh, good to see you. You got more Lego Star Wars sets like Star Wars Architect and Astronaut. What do you think about it, Chris? I love them. I can't wait. I set uh, an alarm for September 1st when they're going to be releasing the Darth Vader in the art series. Uh, the problem is... Each one of them will cost over 100 bucks, and I say each one because one of the LEGO art sets, for Star Wars at least, will enable you to either compose Darth Vader, Kylo Ren, or Darth Maul. The problem is, if you get three sets, you can combine them into a large vertical Vader, and I, I'm, um, I, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I mean, like, because that's, that is, that's expensive. That's about as expensive as the Death Star. May even take just about as long to to put together, but that's the one I'm waiting for, uh, the, in the, uh, in the coming months, uh, next month, really, since we're now into August, 2020, next month, September, 2020. So looking forward to that one. I haven't purchased many other, uh, Lego Star Wars sets apart from the ones that I, I've shown off uh, while thrifting. And that's probably a nice segue into, uh, what I believe is probably the discovery of the week. Uh, you know, I love thrifting and, or at least you should, uh, this is incredible. Uh, now the, the base plate, it didn't come when I purchased it. It did not come with a base plate. I put these minifigures on a base plate because it was the easiest way to, to showcase all of them. And what's nice about this is that, uh, I got all of these minifigures plus loose bricks for about $5 total. So we've got some Star Wars there. We got Obi Wan. We got an Astromech. We got a Porg. We got an older Luke. We got the three Ray variants. That, I mean, there are probably more, but at least three Ray variants. You can see her in the back row there, and it, you know, because I, I noticed their their outfits, um, in their their different torsos. We've got Minecraft. Uh, Chirrut Mways in there. I'm sorry, I'm like going back and forth. I, I'm not sure exactly which series this one's from. 
with the alien head, uh, something from uh, like a thief from City uh, in the Ninjago. But all of these minifigures, all of them, for five bucks in one bag. An incredible discovery. And of course, as you know, with thrifting, it's it's all about lucking into the the the, the finds, if you will. And so uh, I was uh, amazed. Like I saw like a couple. I'm like, okay, let me let me hunt through a few more. If I would have seen four mini figures in the bag, I might have passed, even knowing that one of these is probably worth five. But the, the more I kept digging, I'm like, this is a this is a mini figure bag. Like they put all the mini figures in one bag for like five bucks. I'm like, oh, I have to. I I have to. I don't e I don't even care if it's Star Wars. Like if it's Lego and it's a minifigure, I'm in. Uh, these are definitely not bootlegs. Like this, I mean, it's it, it, the the they're they're definitely original Lego minifigures. Uh, bootlegs probably wouldn't come like this in groupings. Certainly not with this quality. There are other telltale signs uh, to picking up on bootlegs. It's getting harder and harder to discern the difference between officially licensed products across the board or uh, bootlegs. Uh, but this. This, I, I'm telling you, man, five dollars for all this. Uh, uh I like I'll turn into quagmire. Uh, <laughs> that that was a horrible quagmire. I couldn't even say quagmire properly. Uh, oh, Chris, hang on, you sent the ball. Wait, I thought Liz did. Christopher, you sent the balls. Thank you. You gave if, if Christopher, if you set the ball, I appreciate it. I do not need a larger room for the collection. I'll just keep like um, I'll keep shoving the uh, collections to the side. I'll build more shelves, which I've done recently with nothing else to do. Uh, I, uh, I I have plenty of room for the collectibles. I will always make more room. There's Star Wars space architecture with all the characters in it. Don't care if it's expensive, just collect them all. I can't. I can't collect all the the Lego minifigures. I can't collect all the Lego sets. I would definitely run out of room. For sure, uh, I uh, that's that's one of the things that I wish I could do is keep collecting. But I, I look at larger objects and I think, will I have room? Does this make sense? Do I want it badly enough? And I, I've I've walked on a few things that I otherwise wouldn't have walked on. And I'll get to I'll probably get to more of that in, in, in a second. So uh, the next thing I'll show you because I, I haven't I have not done. Oh, Liz did. Okay, Christopher, thank you. I wanted to make sure I was giving credit to the right person. I thought Liz did, but. Uh, you know, again, credit where credit's due. Uh, you can now get uh, a a bank, the child bank, for you or your child or your inner child. Huh? Right there. I put some coin in it. So Jedi's got a bank. At first she wasn't sure what to make of it. I thought it was kind of cute. Really kind of cute. Uh, it's got It's a flat back, though, for some odd reason. I don't know why the back is flat. To me, it seems like an odd design choice. I mean, they're saving on plastic? What? Uh, but uh, you should be able to pick this up online or in-store, at least right now. Who knows how long they're going to be available. Uh, normally, I don't chase banks. Uh, this might be something that I might find uh, thrifting at some point in the future. But given it's new, and then it's the child, I, like, had to. I had to get the child bank. Right there. I'll take a I'll pop into the background here. Right there. I got to hold it still. And the reason why is because, again, I try to take screenshots of the product so that I can share what we talk about every week in social. So you've got to save your coin to put the coin somewhere. That's what you got to do. Give me a second. I'm going to see if I can better optimize uh, seeing the chat. Give me a moment. There we go. I'm zooming in a bit, not that you care. Uh, but there, I, my my my... Almost 50-year-old eyes can see better now. <laughs> Did your birthday card arrive? Ben, no, it hasn't because, unfortunately, there are some factions who are completely against the U.S. Postal Service here in this country right now. I don't want to get too political, but, you know, you don't have to follow me too far on Facebook and Twitter to know which side I lean on. Um, the, yeah, it's, it's kind of a disaster. Everything's a disaster right now. 2020 is a dumpster fire of a year. Uh, and I'm not the only one who says that. That's for sure. I don't think it matters which way you lean either. Hang on. I hear kids. I'm warning you, Jedi might trot in here. Oh, the the uh uh um a uh, salacious rum, ban monkey lizard killing. I can't. I I gotta have my Kowakian monkey lizard. And I know. Thank you for tweeting me. I recognize you, and thank you for retweeting this morning too. Um, I need my own official Kowakian monkey lizard. The closest thing I have is the old beanie. 
one of the beanies, and of course the the, the vintage uh, salacious crumb and a modern salacious crumb. But I wanted to get a a, a, a Kowakian monkey lizard from um, uh, Galaxy's Edge when I can. I mean, it's again, it kind of it gets up there in terms of price, and I have to think how badly do I want something? And yet another stuffy. I mm, that's one of those things though that I'm like, eh, I want it, but I uh, I don't know if I. I don't know if I'm going to get one. I'm still on the fence right there. Uh, you're a new subscriber. Oh, then it'll probably show up uh, over the next however however long. I didn't see a notification pop up, so uh, it, that's odd that I don't see you as a subscriber, at least here. Uh, the one thing I was going to... You were talking about Lego. What, the Monkey King is a new Lego series. That also looks really cool, but I'm like, I just want the minifigures. I don't want the sets. I just want the minifigures. I don't want the sets. <laughs> and I can't... It's like this... Ah, uh, it's this constant struggle. Tell me I'm not the only one. I'm, I can't be the only one who struggles with this in Lego sets. So I wish I could make a deal with somebody, right? We buy the set together. They keep the set. I keep the figures. Uh, you know, I'm even willing to pay a little more than I would normally pay just to get those. Uh, you know, but that's, that's me. Uh, next on the table, I've got, I've got a few things here. And I pre by the way, I appreciate the, the whole get going back and forth here. Devon, what's going on? Um, Vader eating Pizza Hut behind you. Yes. So this is not an advertisement. This this video not sponsored by Pizza Hut. This video is sponsored by nobody. This video is 100% my opinions and my interests and 10% what you're saying. Well, that's 110%. Anyway, uh, yeah, I, you know, when I, every once in a while I go, uh, you know, into, uh, into, into a, a, a nosedive, right? Of going down the rabbit hole. Of, God, you know, what, what did I miss? You know, what did I miss? Uh, you thought you could get away with, no Hamilton references in this video? I think not. Um, but yeah, I ended up getting a, a P, a Star Wars Pizza Hut boxes, others as well, but the Darth Vader was the only one I wanted, and that was the, the best place for it. I may end up having to move it. It's not an advertisement for Pizza Hut, though. That's That was the best place that I could put it that was kind of an empty space uh, here in the play shop that showcased Vader and Pizza Hut. I could probably move the, uh, the stuffy there over a bit. I don't want to block Pizza Hut. I haven't had pizza in the longest time. I haven't. Just so you know, I mean, this is the, now now it comes a part of the video uh, where you learn a little bit more about me and my, my week this past week. I decided, and I seem to do this around my birthday. Remember, th three birthdays ago was it three that I went vegan, still vegan, or at least largely vegan. Um, I still have, I think I still have leather products, uh, and and I have also inadvertently ingested uh, non-vegan foodstuffs, uh, but I'm still vegan. That doesn't mean that I, I cannot eat better or could not eat better and, and continue, you know, a healthier lifestyle. Uh, but every birthday, it seems, not New Year's, but every birthday, I, I kind of reflect upon my life and where it is. I mentioned last week, there's a big thing that's happening for our family um, real soon. I don't know if I'm going to mention anything. I might to some of you guys that I know really well, like intimately, not intimately, uh, like people I've known for a while and can, and can trust. Um, but, uh, in fact, I may make a members only post when it happens. Cause it's not really something I, I want to talk too widely about, but that big thing happened. I mentioned it last week. Uh, I also decided I got on the scale for the first time in, since I lost, you know, uh, the weight that I was looking to lose to get from wherever I was down to, or was it 145, 140 range? That's usually where I, I balance out and feel better about my weight. And the more video conferencing that I've been doing lately, because of, you know the coronavirus and everybody doing video conferencing, I, I realize that one, I have unflattering angles, and two, I, I can see it in my face. I see, I see it like this, this area in my neck, and I'm like, I don't want to step on the scale, and I want to see how bad it is. Uh, but I did, and lo and behold, it was what I thought it was. Not as bad as I thought it was, uh, but I weighed in at 154 ish, and so I'm like, all right. All I got to do is just kind of keep an eye on what I'm drinking, eating. Uh, so that basically means no alcohol probably for the next three months. And I'm going nuts. Uh, no snacking. That's a little easier to handle. And just, you know, again, trying to uh, keep my, for my body to lose weight in an appropriate way around 1,400 calories a day, which is, is somewhat uh, more manageable. Um, you know, around here than it used to be. It's a lot easier to do as a vegan than it would be not. It's not necessarily a diet. It's just knowing, okay, I'm not happy with where I am. I want to make some adjustments. Um, and so I am. So that's something else that I decided this week. Not that you needed to know, but you know, you know. Do you, I don't know what you're going to do with that information. I don't even know how I started talking about that. 
but I did. I just, I feel that's, I feel this bond with everybody. See, it's not just Star Wars stuff, and trust me, it's not just Star Wars stuff. In fact, I better grab this next thing to prove that it's not just Star Wars stuff, or Lego, right? Although that's, come on, let's face it, that's kind of what I do for fun. Uh, why not collect minifigures, asks Roland Schumacher, and thank you for being a member long enough to be an Emperor's Royal Guard, uh, with mini Star Wars mini base on Moon, Mars, or other planets in the galaxy. I, you know, I, I, I usually, uh, I mean, if it's a really cool minifigure, I'll chase it down. Uh, I just, I can't justify the price of the sets anymore. And I, I mean, I've got so many sets that are unbuilt, and I find a few minifigures thrifting, and I'm good enough. I mean, there, there are going to be some... Uh, sets that I will chase down. I tend to go for the smaller sets, and I know those aren't worth as much as the bigger sets, uh, or will be over time. Uh, but you know, I, the more minifigures, the happier I am personally. Uh, so, um, Christopher, you know, it's all about you know being happy with where you are and you know being you know what you want to do. I just know I need to lose weight, so the last thing I should do is pick up these. So if you um, are a child of the 70s and 80s, you might remember wacky packages, just like garbage ball kids, right? I never collected uh, wacky packages uh, when when I was younger. Uh, I, I There was something about them I'm like, uh, I thought they were neat and funny. I like garbage ball kids more, and I've never been inclined to collect wacky packages or buy them, even though they're, they're neat and they're funny, and I like the parody, uh, you know, the, the natural, the, the products, but there was just, there was always something about it that just, I didn't like, and I don't, I could, I could, I can't put a finger on it. I'm glad I didn't like them because then my collection would be twice as big because I'd have wacky packages and there's no way, there's no possible way I could ever catch up with all the wacky packages. So now they make these and, and, um, <laughs> I got these because Jedi recently, uh, got a whole bunch of these miniature items, you know, little cute little, you know, pretend things that she plays with miniatures. And, I, you know, I thought it'd be funny, you know, uh, when I saw this, I, 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 I might end up collecting the whole set. What these are, are, uh, as you can see, this, uh, it's a, this, is, this one's plastic. You can see it says, Craft Shingles. <laughs> this is, it's small. I'd hold it up closer, uh, but it's going to be blurry because I have the, the, uh, um, the, the focus locked. Shingles, stale old cedar. So they're funny, but they're like little food things. So I'm going to basically, I'm going to sneak them into her miniatures to see if she notices and if she wants more. I may end up buying the full set just to have. Uh, it's the weirdest thing, you know. I mean, I don't understand why I went after this. I don't know. Maybe it's something about the physicality of it, right? Uh, the Wacky Packages stickers. I, mm, I, mm, Garbage Bell Kids stickers, yes. Uh, but here's a, the, one of the stickers that comes with it, a horrid Instead of Arid, I imagine, the Arid brand of Underarm. Oh, man. Okay. So that's that. Oh, man. I may end up... Oh, I'm going to go down the rabbit hole. This is bad. This is very bad. This is bad news. This mean, they, There's some blind bags here, not for resale. I'm going to open them. She's going to notice these things right away. Uh, this is Jolly Mean Giant Peas. <laughs> I don't know, Diana's gonna get so mad. What? What are these? What? Are you putting garbage pail kids in with their cute stuff? No, I don't. Well, I don't know where it came from. Maybe Diana should actually watch my videos. Uh, give me a second. I'm gonna open another one here. Band ache. <laughs> these are plastic too. They're not. I thought I was worried that they'd be paper, but these are plastic, so they they should be somewhat durable. Band ache. <laughs> <laughs> oh man here's the oh, i'll show the well here let me show the checklist now oh gosh oh no this isn't just a checklist is it oh wow oh i see this these are who produce all these things like the uh um mini arcades the tiny arcades we have a couple of them like i had to get the tetris uh mini arcade or tiny arcade had to get the tetris one it plays okay um, not very comfortable for a long period of time. They also apparently have pocket tabletop arcades. I didn't know that. That's nice. Ski ball, tiny ski balls, micro arcades. Those are fun. Uh, and then on the other, dang, dude, they have a ton of these. Uh, like the, have you seen the, have you seen those miniatures, right, in the store, like around the blind, blind bag section? This is apparently the company that does all the miniatures, like the Transformers miniatures, 
Power Rangers, Masters of the Universe, G.I. Joe, Turtles, Atari. I mean, this is just, I'm not, this, that's, I thought that was checklist. That's showing you all the things you can collect from this particular brand. Um, but I'm not, this is the checklist here. I've got a couple more of the items to show you too. But new school checklist. Boy, they timed that one. Rare. Oh, this is not good. Old school checklist. Here we go. So there's the old school checklist. I'm trying to, so you can see the wording there. World's smallest. That's the brand. World's smallest. Old school. And then apparently the new school checklist. So, you know, I, I saw they have some on eBay, but like only half. So maybe they've only issued half because there's 66 to collect. Depending on how Jedi likes these, I, I may end up chasing them down to have the collection because these are cool. I like these, for some reason, these miniatures more than I like the, the Wacky Packages stickers. I don't know why. I'm not, you know, I guess I'm not opposed to it, the, the stickers. Here's some sick blood stick instead of Bic. You know, the lighters. <laughs> and this one looks to be the last one. So you get one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, five of these in a bag or in a, a bin. So it's about, it costs about six or more. So that, that's about a little over a dollar for each one of these things. Rivals instead of rip of ruffles. I'm serious. I'm going to like sneak these in to her bag. Uh, or her bin. I gave her one of the, the Baby Yoda bins. See, see like... Isn't that, oh, isn't that funny? Ah, I think it's... <laughs> I, but I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to, like, wait until, like, she... She says, what's this? Ah, I got of this, I got of that. And she doesn't know. She hasn't figured out reading yet, right? So to her, this is going to be Band-Aids. To her, this is going to be... This is going to be Ruffles chips, you know? <laughs> oh, it's going to annoy Diana so much! Oh man, um, I can talk about anything. I'm so interesting to listen to. I disagree there, Devon. Uh, I'm not like a life coach for nerds at all. I, I do life coaching things, maybe. Don't do what I did, or maybe do what I did, because I I there are some certain things that I've done that I'm happy about. Um, which minifigures do you like from the Star Wars collection? All of them, especially the ones that I missed. Um. All right, so now uh, that I showed you the wacky packages, let me put the trash off to the side. Wacky wacky packages minis. <laughs> That's so cool. That's so funny. Uh, okay, I've shown you these things before, but uh, there's now I, I discovered uh, there is a variant of the hand sanitizer, the Baby Yoda hand sanitizer. These are um, a, a variant in. Look, you can see Pixie. Look at Pixie's head down there. Uh, let's see here. So these bottles are uh, variants. They're a little taller and thinner. Same two ounces though, uh, like before. But um, let's see if I can. It's, it's kind of hard to do the showcase uh, products in the. Like this, but two hand sanitizers. Uh, there are three potentially total. At least the the smaller, not by size. I mean the squatter squared off containers that I showed a few weeks back are um, uh, the. Same size, two ounces, uh, same price, about three bucks. Uh, but I don't know if there are three of them uh, in in that range, uh, three of them in this range, uh, like uh, the other one. I picked them up, you know, variant in packaging. Why not? They were there. Plus, Jedi saw them, and she's like, "Oh, can I have one?" And she already had one. She she totally already had one. But the cool thing about these, I think maybe no, they're too big. I was I was wondering if they were gonna fit in the uh, the Disney World. Uh, or the Disney Parks um, holders, but these are these are a little too, little too big. Not that I'm complaining. Uh, I have in my uh, these 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 are from Mexico, by the way. The 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 R two D twos. I these are these are okay. They should stay in the test of time and see once once they're out. Once I'm ooh God, that's a lot of hand sanitizer. Anybody want any goop? Uh, uh, uh. Ah, uh, ah! Uh, there's your video thumbnail right there. Ah, uh, all right. That's, that, I got a lot. Uh. Thank you for the super chat. The Brackchess. I'm really. You may not. You may need to have like a a a, a guide. 
to pronunciation of, of names. Skookum Trooper, good to see you. Am I getting the Galaxy's Edge BMF? Uh, the Galaxy's Edge, uh, uh, the Millennium Falcon? Uh, it looks awesome at a distance. Uh, you know, the unique... Uh, I, I think we're going to be getting a Hondo Onaka 3.75 separate in the Vintage Collection, so I'm not... I'm not inclined to drop, what is it, 300 bucks on another Falcon? It looks awesome, though. Like, the sounds and, and how how they've laid it out. It looks to be about the best Falcon they've ever done. Uh, like, it really does. It, it beats every other Falcon I've seen. But I'm not a vehicle chaser at all. Like, it's not really something that I do. Uh, because, again, space, size, right? I mean, I don't have enough uh, room for everything. And so, where would I put it? Uh, I don't even have a vintage Millennium Falcon in my collection, so I'd be more inclined to spend the money on a good condition, like a C9, which is impossible these days, C9 Millennium Falcon complete, before I would get a vintage collection Falcon at this stage. Uh, but, you know, if and when the, the TVC Falcon goes on sale, I assume that's what you're talking about, um, uh, I, I will probably spring for it, if it goes on sale. Like, if it gets to 150, 100 territory, I'll get it. Uh, thank you again for the super chat there. I still can't pronounce your username. The Bradacus? Bradachess? Bradachess? I want to, I want to do the double C, like cappuccino. I could be wrong. Wouldn't be the first time. Won't be the last. And by the way, Roland, thank you for the emoji. I love the emoji. Uh, okay, so that's that. I showed you the hand sanitizers. Jedi's probably going to trot off with one of those. Uh, so next we have... I'm going to go to these discoveries. This is one of the first things... That, well, not really the first thing, but I showed this in my uh, that that Star Wars group I was just referencing. These are uh, from these are from Ross. Some socks, socks from Ross. I don't know. Uh, and what was nice about these is number one, I didn't have them. Number two, wait until you see the price. So they're two pair of socks for th uh, uh, approximately three dollars for each. Three dollars, three dollars. So a dollar fifty a pair which is incredible for Star Wars branded socks. Incredible! Uh, found this. Now the funny thing, the funny thing about these socks is, no, not just the Porg, I'm, I'll give you another view here. Uh, not just the Porg and the BB-8s, um, but uh, when I went to check out, and I don't go to Ross all that often, the clerk said, oh yeah, you're, you're the one who likes Star Wars. I'm like, I don't think I come in here that often. But apparently often enough, and I haven't gone in there recently, of course, a lot of the stores have been closed because of uh, COVID. Um, she also mentioned this. I now have a Wonder Twin Power ring. Normally these retail for around 30 bucks. This was $15. $15 for Darth Vader, a full metal Darth Vader ring. Yeah, I have the power! That's the wrong brand. Wrong fandom, but I'm doing it anyway. Ah, isn't that nice? It doesn't really fit on any finger. It doesn't certainly fit on my ring finger. I guess I could wear it on, like, my middle finger. kind of fits on the, the, the pointer finger, but that that's weird if you wear it on a pointer finger. Uh, anyway, fully licensed uh, that I know of, and super high-quality ring. They, Ross doesn't sell knockoffs, uh, to my knowledge. I'll put you up there. I got a ring! I got a ring. And with this ring, I the stream. Uh, so I got those at Ross. This week would have passed on the socks at a normal price at uh, six dollars for like six dollars for this pair. I would have passed, um, but for three, I I had to. Not that I wear a lot of Star Wars socks. Most of the most of the time, the socks that I wear are white. Like you see my dirty sock there, my dirty feeties, dirty feeties. Um, maybe she senses force is strong with me. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. I, I think that was the case. I don't, I mean, of course I was wearing Star Wars, like head to toe, but like she, I, I, I know when I go in there, of course, usually I check out with the Star Wars stuff if I find any, and it must have been, I must have made an impression because I didn't recognize her at all. And usually like the stores that I hit when I go on, I, I can't really say toy runs anymore because toy runs are pretty much dead. Oh, uh, before I forget, um, so you get this nice little break. It's not just showcasing stuff. I'm like geeking out, right? Uh, this past week, and I don't, I think they're going to be more produced, or at least I haven't seen them yet. Uh, Amazon Prime is running a toy, sh a toy store near you, and if you watched and enjoyed uh, the uh, um, uh, the Toys That Made Us, which is an amazing series, and you need to watch it. That one's on Netflix, at least. 
on uh, Amazon Prime, I just stumbled into a toy store near you, and I heard that Brian uh, was going to be doing this, and I was I was really excited for it. So it's a it's a series, and it's pretty quick. It's a pretty quick series, but um, they they they, they interview uh, toy store owners, and so far they've done them from like across well I'd say across the world, but like uh, certainly from across the U.S. and then one in can uh, wait. Two in the U.S., one in Canada, one in the U.K. So far, there are four episodes. Last time I looked, and I, I, I love. I mean, I really loved it. Uh, of course, in my humble opinion, like what I would love even more. It's this is uh, like they t- they tell a story right behind each toy store and the owner and what they're going through because of coronavirus, having to shut the doors, cutting off from the community, having to figure out what they're going to do, and you know, you know, the, the problems that they're dealing with. And it's it's great. I love that aspect and the angle. I don't know, and I, I guess it may have to look deeper. If they have a cutting room floor, I would watch the hell out of that. I would like like crowdfund or, or Patreon behind the scenes. Like I want a toy store tour. I want to meet the owners, certainly. Um, but I mean, I, I hope to God there are just endless episodes. There's sto- toy stores everywhere, and uh, you know, uh, it it was really fun to watch. Uh, and so that was one of the things that I watched this week. Easy to binge. It took like. I think each episode was like a half hour total. Uh, fantastic stories of, of toy stores that, that have been hit hard. And you just get, you you know, you start sensing, a, a you know, a motif between these toy store, toy store owners. They just love this stuff. And they eat it up. And they're passionate. And they're knowledgeable. And, and not, I, I can't imagine Brian interviewing toy store owners who are not friendly. Because believe you me, I've met them. And that has certainly, I'm not going to name names or places, but that's curbed my patronage to their stores. I, I have gone at times, but they just, there are certain people that just kind of aren't as warm and welcoming as other people. And, you know, the toy store that, um, I, I haven't been to one in the longest time. They closed it. It was a, the, where I got my comics. Now I get them through the same retail e-tailer now online. Uh, still supporting them. Not that there's been a lot of comics lately. <laughs> there's been like what two over the past couple of months, at least the ones that I've been getting, the Star Wars ones that I've shown you. But it's it's you know the toy store, as it were, I think is one of those types of stores that could survive the retail collapse. And you know, and I'm saying that because y- you could go online. And, uh, you, uh, just, uh, and, and you can get what you were looking for, right? You can get the best price on a modern figure. And no doubt I, I've done that. You know, you have to, because you can't, you can't find the modern stuff at retail very easily. You have to turn to the internet. And that to me is, is, is frustrating as someone who would rather <clears throat> pick something up locally. But the toy store, these, these toy stores that they're highlighting in this video series are, uh, they're, they're, they're independently owned, small business owners owned by people who care and love what they do to the point where some of them don't want to give away the things in their toy store. Uh, like they don't want to sell them when they were like, when they're, they, someone was ready to buy one cause they're emotionally attached to it. And I, you know, I, I, I don't think I would ever have the ability to open a toy store like that. Uh, but if I were ever to tilt into retail, it would probably be something along the lines. And I wouldn't do it because I wouldn't want to do it. I wouldn't do it because there's a lot of overhead uh, to it and a lot of question marks to it, and I, I definitely not the you know the knowledge ruler of the universe. Of course, you can hire people for it, but there are a lot of stresses and strains that come with that. I've I've thought around ideas of it. Uh, you know, when I did Galaxar, we had 50 vendors, a lot of them toy vendors, not all of them, uh, the first time, and then 75 vendors the second time. I would probably do something like a Galaxar again to enable toy vendors, but not sell them myself. Or if I did sell them myself, I'd have a booth, not necessarily a full-on store, but do it as a part of an ongoing event. And I, I have, I've considered that, like as a part of quote-unquote retirement, like if I could chase my dream, it would probably be that, which is really weird because I'd be following my, my parents' footsteps, my dad's footsteps, because he owned a hobby shop back in the 80s. And, you know, uh, I didn't like anything that he sold <laughs> There was no Star Wars. I mean, maybe it was a model, but I wasn't into into models. Um, but uh, and like toy trains and, and cars, things that other people like. But I'm like, it's not my jam. Um, but I, I would probably do that. I'd probably do something like that. And one of the one of the store, I mean, one of the store owners, the one in the UK, 
whose name eludes me at the moment, uh, he mentioned you have to carry things that you don't like, you know, because other people like them. You, you can't just, you know, just be myopically one thing. And so, you know, I, my, my head's still very much into producing another Galaxar. Uh, should I be able to do it? I wouldn't be able to do it alone. But right now, events are just not happening. And even online events, like engagement and, and, and revenue driven, like through the recent Comic-Con was like nothing. It was a mouse fart uh, by comparison. Uh, you know, which, you know, was a given, right? There's a lot of things happening online. So uh, anyway, so I, I really, that was probably out of everything I watched, and I'll get to other things that I watched um, this week too, but that was the one that I really, really enjoyed that got me really thinking and feeling like emotionally connected to the people that I was watching. And so I, I, I really loved that. Uh, and, and I want to see more of that in the world. Um, I wish we had more toy stores here. In the Seattle area, I know of at least two that have shut down recently. One was just too far to get to, and I couldn't get to, and 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 I didn't, you know, I couldn't get to it frequently enough for me to consider it my toy store, right? Like the one that I went to. The other one I mentioned, the comic shop shut down. It's just, it's hard. It's it's difficult to keep up. So I don't know how they're going to make that, how the toy stores are going to make that leap. But it's sad. They have a chance if if they double down specifically on these one of a kinds like unique things that you can't get anymore, like vintage items, right? Like, uh, you know, that to me is the value of these toy stores. Modern, yes, you, you kind of need to have modern stuff. Even Pops, as much as I think they're crazy, you could probably open a full-on pop store and make bank. <laughs> like, I don't, I'm not, I'd probably have to, but I'm like, I'm not that interested in, in selling Pops, you know, enough to like open up a store to sell Pops. I'm not that passionate. It'd be like an offshoot. But um, the, the event, I think, is how I'd do it. I've, I've brainstormed how to make that, happen in my life before I die, assuming I don't die anytime soon, uh, I would probably have to move because I don't think I could afford to do it in the Seattle area, which is kind of sad. You need space and you need a place that you could better control. And we have to get past the pandemic. And like, I, a lot of question marks in my head. Um, but I, I still think about that very often. That's, that's, I, I would love to do that on a regular basis, not a daily basis. That would just be amazing. Like a flea market every day of like toys. I know I'd say who wouldn't want that, but I already know like 99% of y'all who follow me don't want that, <laughs> but that's what I would go for. Uh, but I think thrifting is, is going to survive this as well for a lot of the same reasons. You find things you otherwise wouldn't have found. I've found some amazing vintage items uh, that of course I purchased and some that I passed on. I'm like, I just, I, I can't, I, I don't want it. I, it's not my thing and I'm not going to be able to resell it. I don't resell online uh, or I haven't to this point because you have to do a lot to make a lot, I'm like, I, I, it would be a distraction uh, more than anything else. Uh, but it's still fun. It's still fun to find, uh, and it's still fun to find those pickups. So I think thrifting will survive the retail crash, and I think uh, uh, toy stores have a, a chance. Like, especially doubling down on vintage stuff, I think there's a chance. It's just hard, because it's it's niche, uh, but it's it's still, if you... If you've, if you cater to that type of market, I think surviving retail will be easier. Not that you can, and it's not, it's not easy. Uh, and it ain't cheap, you know, and, and you got, you got to work out at a long time. You got to work your angles. I know of one toy store in the Seattle area, Bobacon, that I think we toured a few years ago for Christmas, maybe three or four years ago, Christmas vlog. Can't remember. Um, they have an array of everything and a lot of vintage and a lot of modern. And I think that's kind of a model toy store. If I had a toy store that I'd want to go to regularly, it'd be there. It's just, I don't live anywhere near it. So that's, that's not happening. Uh, I'm not even done showing you everything that I picked up this week, but I, I, before I forget that I talked about my favorite thing to watch this week, that was it. Uh, I binged, uh, yesterday, the Umbrella Academy season two, season two, so much better than season one. I mean, season one, you're kind of getting to know things. You're kind of putting things together. Season two was fantastic. Can't wait for, for season three. Uh, I uh, What else did I binge? Or I, I caught up on Doom Patrol, uh, caught up on Westworld. Now I've seen all three seasons. Season three was, I thought, probably the best of the three seasons, even though it was like not even close to like the tone of the first two. Uh, I enjoyed season three greatly uh, of Westworld. Um, I'm all caught up on Perry Mason, which is fun. Uh, what, else, what else have I um, binged lately? Because I, 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 those are the, yeah, those, those are the ones that have taken up the most amount of time. Umbrella of Academy I was waiting for. Oh, I watched uh, the new Muppets, Muppets Now, and some people have not liked it at all. I like it. I'm like, it doesn't take much to impress me. I like the Muppets on ABC, 
And I'm the kind, as I tweeted last night, right? You can find out what I'm going to talk about or what I'm interested in by following me on Twitter, of course. Uh, Discord, kind of. I don't always share things. Actually, I did. I did talk in Discord. You can head over there, live.perillo.com. I did mention what I was watching. Give me a second. Uh, but the Muppets, now on Disney+, Plus, I thought it was fun. It was a nice uh, format, I thought. A different format, certainly. But I enjoyed it. Uh, I, I enjoyed it just as much as I've enjoyed any other type of Muppet entertainment. It's the Muppets to me. So I enjoyed it. D the, nothing, nothing about it bothered me. And they've only released one episode uh, thus far, but it's been good. Oh, the other show. I can't believe I almost forgot this. Transformers. Transformers is on Netflix. Uh, War for Cybertron. Now, I, I loved the, 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 the Transformers cartoons as a kid. I'll be honest, I never really had... Well, I've said this before. I've never really had any of the toys. Minus the only Transformer toys I've ever bought, really, were the Reaction 5 POA figures. Those are the only ones. Isn't that funny? Uh, well, I think it's funny. Um, so, uh, yes, there are... They, these, no, this is not a lot of Darth Vader. So there's other Darth Vader's over there that you can't see. I don't think I picked up any new Darth Vader's this week, though. I'm not even done. I'm not done showing things yet. I'm just... I'm, I Let me stay on topic before I forget. Uh, Transformers was great. I enjoyed it on, on Netflix. The season one, brief season, fast season, War for Cybertron. Uh, I, I, I didn't feel like I was missing anything. I'm like, oh, this is what this is, and this is what this is. Didn't like any of the Transformers movies from Michael Bay at all. Like, I, I don't know if they're canon or stricken for canon or what they consider canon because there's so many variations. I enjoyed Bumblebee. Uh, you know, not as great as I thought it could be. The Transformers movie I want was like the very beginning of Bumblebee, the movie. That's the that's the Transformers movie I want. The War for Cybertron on Netflix first season, probably as close as we're ever going to get. Uh, the animation was a little little less fluid than I would like it to be. Uh, still a little kind of blocky and chunky. But um, the hard the the thing that that the, if I had a criticism, the voices sometimes were difficult to discern one from another. Like I just couldn't tell one character from another just by voice. That was somewhat of a challenge for me. Uh, visuals I thought were you know ample for what they were. Uh, I'm just gr grateful to have something new uh, and uh, something that I feel I could latch onto versus all these other Transformer series that are out there. I don't even know where to begin. Like, is this for me? Is this something that I would enjoy? Is this something Jedi might enjoy? Would I enjoy it with her? A and I'm not sure if even the, the, the cartoon series, like Rescue Bots, I tried that with her once and she didn't really do it. I might try it again. Um, sometimes it takes a few times for her to catch on to something. Uh, Scooby-Doo, she likes now, so I'm like, yay. I don't know why, I think, because I got her the, the figures thrifting, uh, and oh, I got her, I think for her birthday, uh, Hot Wheels has a, a, a the, uh, the uh, uh, mystery machine, Hot Wheel. So I got that for her, for her birthday in September. Um, that's a surprise for her. I got that today, as a matter of fact. I'm not going to show it. Uh, but uh, I, I try to find things that, you know, are going to you know, be compelling for her. At first, when I showed her Muppet Babies, she wasn't that interested. And then she watched it a few times. She's like, all right, all right, I, I kind of like that. So um, she hasn't really latched onto the real Muppets. And, and honestly, I mean, I enjoyed the Muppets as a kid. I watched the Muppet Show. I remember watching the Muppet Show and, and enjoying it, but never having the patience to sit all the way through a Muppet Show episode. Because inevitably, I would always, like, tune out when, like, they start singing. I was like, like I'm not interested in pe watching people sing and dance. I'm not, never really have been, which is really weird because now I, you know, recently enjoyed Hamilton the Musical, you know, as, as broadcast on Disney Plus. So, you know, times change. But, like, I, I never was into, even as a kid, when with MTV in, in its heyday, never was really, really into music videos, watching bands dance around. I mean, when there was a story to them or something creative to them, yeah, I might watch them. But it, I was never someone who was glued to MTV. It, it was never my thing. Like, the whole YouTube music thing, I'm not going to watch music videos. There are exceptions to the rule. They might be giants. Weird Al Yankovic. Like parodies, like I'm in. Uh, and, and the music that, you know, I enjoy, the style of the band, the creative, the creativity of the band and the, and the videos, more on the They Might Be Giants spectrum, but certainly on the Weird Al Yankovic spectrum as well. Um, that's when I feel compelled to watch a video. But if it's just a, an artist, a musical artist, I'm like, eh. So I was never into The Muppet Show um, for... The, the guest stars necessarily, or the singing and dancing. Uh, not that we've seen a lot of that in The Muppets now uh, on, on Disney+, Plus, but I think it's a winning formula. I don't know who said what and when uh, about what, but I think that um, it's uh, uh, it works for me. 
uh, the, the the new Muppet Show. Not for everybody, but it, it works for me. Thank you, everybody who's has been joining like uh, uh, midstream. Okay, Transformers Siege. That's the first se the the first season of War on Cybertron, War for Cybertron, because there's going to be three seasons, short seasons though. Um, Stock market plan says I still have Cobra and Snake Eyes with the dog action figures. Uh, I just don't know if they're in the house. Those are slick. Wild Bill too. Uh, yeah, you know, G.I. Joe, you can watch the old, uh, Hasbro's released a few of the old episodes. I, I saw the new, uh, Hasbro six inch series, uh, online. I would not be a completist. I, I have, however, I will admit, look to the pegs. Today I found a ton of them, but just like another Target store, all they had on the pegs were Roadblock. I'm not as interested in Roadblock. I would only probably get, uh, a Destro or a Cobra Commander. Probably Cobra Commander. And that would probably, I'd be, I, I'd be fine with that. Uh, just kind of like, like, like with, uh, um, like with He-Man. I, I, I didn't really, I didn't get into the He-Man figures as a kid. I enjoyed the cartoon. Very much looking forward to the Kevin Smith, uh, um, series. I think that's also on Netflix when that's released. Um, She-Ra has been hit or miss for me. I've enjoyed it and Jedi's watched it too. I, I, I don't feel like I'm like completely latched onto the story. I may be a bit beyond the audience. It, you know, it, it may not be for me, but it's, it's good. It's been, it's been, I feel a, a pretty, I have no problem with Jedi watching it uh, at all. Uh, Jordan Harm, uh, Hembro, yes, uh, I, I do. He'd be amazed by at my collection. Well, tweet him, <laughs> tweet him. Uh, I, I, I'm following him. I don't think he's following me, though. I, not that I, you know, I, I chase him down. The best home uh, or uh, the play shop that I have, the photos, if you Google uh, Chris Perillo Zoom backgrounds, there's a tweet that I, I basically showcase the various angles of my home office. That's probably the best one at this stage because it's just like, you know, one angle. Uh, Skookum Trooper, Trooper, I totally agree. Muppets need to change with the times. They do, and I think they've done it. I, I, I haven't been thrilled with the new Muppet movies. Uh, you know, I don't, I, there's something missing there, but I like the, I like what they're doing with now, but I like the Muppets on ABC and they got raked across the coals. I'm like, and I love the Muppets on ABC. I thought, why they, why? Like, this is just, it's funny. Ah, I, LOL, I, LOL, at least three or four times, uh, with, uh, Muppets now, uh, watching that, uh, last night. Is this, is this light dimming? Sorry. I'm like, I think it's. Cause I had see that's that's worth it off. That's worth it. Yeah. See, I think it's dimming. Oh, maybe. Ah, oh, oh, four lights. <laughs> cause, cause I had it. Yeah, it is dimming. Cause I was like, my face is getting darker. That's not. Where are you going, Pixie? Grab some wood. Have a seat. Want to sit? You want? Okay, come here. You want to say hello to everybody? Come here, baby. Come here, Pixie. Come here. She can't really hear that well, but. Say hello to everybody. There you go. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. She's look at her, look at her legs. Like, no, daddy, don't show me. Look up there. Can you see? Can you? Do you want to read the chat? Do you want to read the chat there? Like, can you? Can you see what's going on? You got your little R two D two sweater on there. Here, let's put that there. Can't really see R two D two there. Is there a better way to hold you, kid? Baby, there we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, you good? Boy, your breath smells like dog. What are, you, are you looking? There's no food on the desk. She's looking down. At, look at the look at the camera. Look up here. Look up here. No, she's she's okay. Okay, buddy. Uh, oh. Yeah, my Lego collection is downstairs. That's somewhere else. Um, favorite camera character from Hamilton is the king. <laughs> I mentioned that I think when I when I mentioned Hamilton the first time a while ago. I may have to move this light. Yeah, I, I guess I need to replace the battery. That's a little better. So if you notice at the beginning of the video, my face is more like this. And then at the end of the video, it's like, uh, my five o'clock shot. You can now see it more. Um, hey, Michael. Good to see Michael. Sorry, I called you Markle. Um, so next on the list, uh, I did mention thrifting, but I, I missed this one. Uh, this is, these are older cards, uh, but I found this in a set of, of other cards for like two bucks thrifting. Uh, brand, seemingly brand new. Not, I mean, the tin was opened. And there are four to collect in the tin, uh, but uh, the Angry Birds Star Wars cards, it also comes with uh, this one. I, you know, and I, 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 I'm I, not even sure if I ended up getting the Angry Birds Darth Vader, because there's a Darth Vader tin, but look at the design of these cards. Isn't that fantastic? 
I mean, I, I haven't opened them yet. I should. But see, then inevitably, this is what happens. I'll open it, and then like the next day, I'll find one that's open. This is when Cardamundi had the uh, license, which I don't think they did a great job with. Um, this is you can collect. You can collect four. Collect all four. There's a Darth Vader tin there. Darth Vader. I got the Luke. Uh, so I I can't. I don't recall whether or not I had the tin. I probably did. I probably did chase it down. But I was very happy to find this tin. Really good shape, and of course, unopened. Um, so got that thrifting this week as well. I'm rearranging my desk. Uh, I've still got, I still got more stuff. I told you, I still got more stuff to show y'all. Uh, this is a Yoda, baby Yoda, the child spinner watch. Yeah. Isn't that cool? It just spins and then, yeah. Let's see if I can get a little closer. So it's a spinner watch. And what you can do with it is spin it. You spin it to win it. And the watch, it's going to be a little hard to open up, but it's got the child inside with a digital readout. Uh, I, you know, I'm thinking Jedi might like this and she might not. She doesn't really wear wrist watches or wrist wear, uh, unfortunately, but, um, if, if it's, if it's the child, I hate to say it, I, I've, I've considered launching like a, a renaming, I've got good Star Wars radar on, um, on Twitter, but like renaming Star Wars radar on Instagram to just baby Yoda stuff, <laughs> the baby Yoda channel. Uh, okay, so, yeah, I guess we're at this point. I'm looking around to make sure I didn't miss anything, okay? Uh, I showed you last week uh, what I picked up from the Vintage Collection. We got Wolf, K2SO, and Luke and Stormtrooper. The one that I was missing, however, was the Gonk Droid. Look at that. This is not... Uh, I should I should mention it, which is an easy way to show you. This way? Yeah, okay. But see, then, see how, see how it kind of... It, my, my white pinky gets even whiter... That's the reason why I'm, like, tilted this direction. Uh, but uh, Power Droid, Kenner branded, uh, the Vintage Collection, which I hope they never stop, and they shouldn't, uh, and hopefully they never will. Uh, but this one, uh, you might see in the Lars Homestead, you're walking around, uh, uh, you know, uh, looking down into the pit in the Lars Homestead, the, ma the, the main level, right? Uh, anyway, found this one on the shelf. Still waiting uh, for the uh, the box to come in because I usually buy these by the box so that I can make sure I get one to open, one to keep in the package. Although, oddly enough, there's only one of these in each particular uh, box or case, I should say. Not box, case. Uh, but I got that one. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to open that one at the moment, but I can't wait. I cannot wait. Uh, so, another new series that Hasbro's working on. I, you know, I, I, I go back and forth. I, I wish. <clears throat> I wish Hasbro would continue to produce the five POA Star Wars figures. That said, I don't think they will. I think they're done, uh, apart from nostalgic value, at which point I'd say produce them like the old Kenner figures and give us figures that we never had from the Vintage Collection, which they've kind of done, but not really, uh, with the games that they had released with uh, the anniversaries for Star Wars and The Empire Strikes Back, and assumedly something's coming with uh, The Return of the Jedi. Um, so uh, the only hope for our scale a 3.75 inch, <clears throat> is going to be the vintage collection. Uh, and then, of course, there's the 6-inch collection. I'll get to that in a second. And right now, this is brand new, uh, kind of in the same vein of, was it Jedi Force, briefly, and then Galactic Heroes. Uh, this is the, um, or these are, uh, Action Fleet. So these figures, individually packaged with a little vehicle, I don't know if we're going to get army builders, but this scale is uh, substantially smaller uh, it, it's very reminiscent of how they've handled uh, that particular line for kids. Uh, you can see ages four and up. So uh, for younger kids, this is as good as it gets. Uh, this is the, the brand right there, Star Wars Mission Fleet. And they just released these. So uh, I found them. Not, don't, not only did I find these on the shelf, I found them as they were stacking it. So uh, stacking the shelf. And so, like, I, I got the, I got the, I said, can I, can I have the box, too? And look at this, look at this. They, they, they put this, like, priority, like, right, on, I'm like, ah, I can't take that off without, like, destroying the box. I'm going to have to, like, clip that off. And then all the tape, you know, making sure that they don't open before a certain street, ain't the stickers. But, you know, it's a box. So, uh, let me show you. Because I got two of each, one to open, one to keep in the box. So, that was that one. I also have an Ahsoka Tano. So uh, piggybacking uh, the the Clone Wars, 
uh, series that was just released on Disney Plus to wrap up that series. I don't know if we're going to see many more Clone Wars things, uh, but it's Ahsoka. Boba Fett. Also an action fleet. So each one of these uh, comes with the, the, the character, possibly an accessory, and then a vehicle uh, that, you know, has, uh, it's kind of the toyetic nature of it. Uh, I think, you know, most people like me are just going to be happy with a figure. The one thing that I'm grateful for, it seems like the arms aren't removable, unlike a lot of uh, the recent uh, series that Hasbro's produced uh, for this particular age bracket. Uh, so that's Boba Fett there. there. Boba Fett? Boba Fett? Where? Uh, and then last in this particular series, Chewbacca. So those are the single cards right now, single carded uh, figures, figurines right now, specifically geared towards a younger audience. Uh, so all four of those. I got two of each. Again, one to open, one to keep them up. I have to decide which one I'm opening and which one. Oh, well, I should do that now. Uh, I'm gonna. There's one card that I noticed as I was packing up, or as I was checking out, one card that was kind of dented. I was like, "Oh, that one's gonna be an open one." Wait a minute, where is it? Okay, that one, ooh, that one's crunched. This one's to open. Ooh, wait, no, hang on. That one's not as crunched. I hate when that happens. That one's not okay. It's not bad. That that that'll be fine. This is the one. It the the side is bent. There's a crease here. Don't like creases. Not 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 into the creases. Uh, so, here we go. Hasbro complains about three and three quarter inch figures, but they fill the shelves with this cheap junk. I don't get it. And you know what? I don't see it as cheap. I, just, I mean, I see it as them trying to expand their base, but I just wish they do this different. I love the card art, too. Like, I, I this, two things I wish would happen. One, I wish there was a way to remove, and I know there's a way you can, you can slice around it and keep the plastic on to keep the card, but I'm like, eh. Um, great art. Amazing art. I wish that I could get a subscription to the Vintage Collection. I'd buy into it, like, you know, especially for, like, unique figures. That way I wouldn't have to chase them down, because that's the hardest freaking part of collecting is finding them on store shelves. Okay, this figure is even better than I thought it was. Oh, wow. I love this. Wait, wait, hang on. I didn't want to get up, but let's see if I can find a Galactic Heroes. Uh, I don't think I have any at arm's length. Damn, damn, damn. Um, Seem to stand about about the same size. So here we have uh, the clone trooper here. Here we have the clone trooper here. Redundant. Uh, but what's nice, and this was my concern, the legs move independently. I thought they'd move in conjunction with one another like the, the earlier versions of the figures. You also have arms that swivel. So it's a 5 POA, but it's a smaller scale 5 POA. So... Let me let me just say this, and you can also turn the head on this clone trooper. Let me just say this, and I don't think Hasbro's listening, nor do they care. I am okay with them doing uh, this type of figure, so long as, A, they continue producing the vintage collection. Love this. This is pretty cool. That's neat. And it's a freestanding thing, too. So, like, you can stand him up, and theoretically he'll balance it at a certain, certain, a certain way. Um, he's also got his weapon, too which I'm afraid to take out of the package it's going to fall off. Um, I'm okay with them doing this, so long as they are they allow us to army build, one, and two, produce figures. Like, okay, fine, you're doing this, but give... And I don't think they will because this is for ages four and up, so they're not going to be... You're not going to have someone who's four years old going, I need a Max Rebo, uh, although that'd be cool. Um, you know, give us a full series, a full set. For, you know, I, again, wrong audience, right? The collector's probably the wrong audience, for this, uh, but like, I'm okay with it. I I, I am quite fine with it. Uh, it. It's the closest we're probably going to get to five POA um, indefinitely, and, and for for three point seven five inch scale, uh, we're probably going to be seeing um, the, the vintage collection theoretically, so long as it continues. So I got the action fleet. I've got on pre order the 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 larger class vehicles because normally I don't chase vehicles. I mentioned that, not a lie. The problem is the only way to get certain figures is to get the vehicles. Uh, one of them is going to be a Mandalorian that comes with a child, so I'm going to have to get two of those. Uh, another one is Darth Vader uh, the, with his uh, uh, TIE fighter, so I'm probably going to get two of those so I can take one out. Uh, but the other ones I'm probably only just going to go with one unless they go on sale at some point, and if these things go on sale, which they probably will, 
uh, then I'll, I'll probably pick up some extras uh, so that Jedi can play with them. Uh, I still subscribe to Mad Magazine. Uh, this is the new um, this is the new Mad cover. It's all about uh, superheroes, so it's been a fun read. I gave it to Jedi. Jedi, you know, wanted to flip through it. She ended up getting water on it, so I've got some water damage down there. Not that you know I'm a you know supreme collector of Mad magazines, but you know if you've got it, you want it to be in good shape. I still enjoy that. But anyway, new Mad magazines out. Got that. And then last but not least, let me move this up here. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you for watching all the way in the UK. Hey, Blue Harvest, good to see you again. See, that's what he's saying. Get kids playing it. That's that's. I think that's all. That's all. That's that's what it's all about. Um, so when the new action fleets come in, of course I'll show you. Uh, the ones that I've been waiting for because I bought some onesie twosie before I end up just biting the bullet and getting the uh, the assortment case. Uh, the new uh, Black Series six figure assortment. In Black Series, when they originally released it, I was not I was not into. Six-inch scale is not my scale. I admit it. Uh, but then I, when The Force Awakens was released, I just like, oh, okay, all right, okay, I get it. And then I and then I got, I, that was the worst decision I could ever make. Just like, I didn't, I'm not a completist with the pops uh, at all, uh, but that was another mistake that I made was getting one pop and getting two and then getting three. Okay, I'm going to open this case now. So we can all enjoy the view of these figures. Hopefully they're in good shape. Case fresh. Come on, Chris. I just, you got to be careful when you're opening this because the figures are literally right there with no pattern. That's the worst thing. You know, you're out shopping looking for something in the wild, and you can see someone did not take care in opening the case. And then you end up with damage, like usually slice marks across the, the top. So from the top, clean. I don't see any creases, dents, dings, outright. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and start pulling them out. Uh, we've got one that I'm I'm going to be content with just getting one of. And again, this is where I have to really apologize for lighting because it's like getting getting it just right is is sometimes a challenge. All right, I'm gonna do it this way because I think you can see it better. So we have. I may end up getting a couple screenshots here. We have an Anakin. Uh, this is obviously Anakin Skywalker Padawan from uh, the, the uh, uh, Attack of the Clones. Um, I'm probably not getting two of him. Probably just going with one of this Anakin. The human likenesses, and eh, that, that, is, that is jazzed about. Uh, Plo Koon, however. Very excited to have more than one Plo Koon. Because this is one that I'm definitely going to be opening. See, the, 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 like the Plo Koon type of 6-inch series, this would make me wish I could go back and collect them all. Which, ultimately, I'm, I'm okay. I'm current it's bad because <laughs> they're big even with the new packaging design that's that's coming soon uh they're they're not tiny at all they're not as easy because they stack and they take up a lot of space another one that i'm uh you know definitely wanted two of kit fisto and i think there's two of a couple of the characters in this case i can't remember which ones probably the ones that i don't want uh kit fisto uh new all these i think are, are new molds uh for except for one in the uh, in the black series yeah, you're very wise, uh, Blue Harvest Vintage Toys, uh, for sticking with vintage. Very, very smart. I just, I, I can't help it. I can't help it. Uh, an Obi-Wan. I've seen so many modern Obi-Wans, Jedi Knights. It's not even funny. So many variations, too. Um, but, uh, again, probably only to, to, to stick with this one in the box. All the boxes seem to, to be okay. I've only opened one case before in the past. Aw, oh, man. So it looks like I will be opening an Anakin. Oh, that's not the duplicate I wanted, man. Ah! Plo Koon. So there are two of him in the case. Awesome. Everything is awesome. I got a Plo Koon. And already had a Dooku. I showed him before. He comes in the case. I've seen a few Dookus out there. And then a new Battle Droid. And I say new because it's a new paint app for the Battle Droid. We've seen Battle Droids before. This is, to my knowledge, uh, the third 6-inch series Battle Droid that have been produced, 108, in the collection of lines. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, so I'll be opening a Plo Koon. Should I do that now? Do you get there? I'm going to hold on to this box. This box is good. Uh, I'm not sure about that. That other box is all taped up and gunked up. I'm not sure how I feel. Not that the boxes are collectible. Um, Battle Droid from Geonosis. Count Dooku. I've already, I mean, I think I've, I, I, I have yet to open a Count Dooku yet. Yet to open it. Man, I just keep repeating myself. 
Okay, um, this is where I have to get into deep into the the, the box inspections, right? Because like the last thing you want to do is open the wrong box, and I've almost done that before. That's that's dangerous. All right, so it's got a slight crease. Don't ever be a box collector. Don't ever be a packaging collector ever. That's a warning to everybody. Don't follow the path that I did. It will lead you down to many frustrations and overspending. Um, but, but, uh, I think this is the one I'm going to do. And see, any of the duplicates I get, I'll end up, I'll probably end up like years from now when I'm able to reboot Galaxar or figure out what I want to do with that, I will probably sell them unless I open them, like this Plukoon. Uh Check his hood. Don't, what, don't tell me there's a variant. Don't tell... What? Wait, hang on, wait. Hood. Which hood? Is there a variant? Because I already learned there's a variant of the child figure that I have to check on. So I, I, got, I, got, I got to figure it out. Like, don't... Hood, is there is there a variant? No, no, it came in the same case. How could it be a variant in the same case? There's no chance. No chance. Oh, now you got me nervous, dude. Why, why do you have to say that, Blue Harvest Vintage Toys? Why? Which one? Hood. His hood. What? Who? How do you make sure they stay in perfect condition? You don't touch them. Don't breathe on them. Um, I keep them out of reach. Try to try to keep them in a cool, dry area. Uh, and and don't mess with them, by and large. And when I redid everything, the, the reorganized certain things in a certain part of the gnomestead. Yeah, this the, this light this light bank is definitely dying. <sighs> Big hood. Big hood. It doesn't even make any sense. Okay, it doesn't... I don't think I see any different... I, there's no way I could tell the difference because the hood's hidden on, on Plo Koon, at least in this set. Um, okay. Where? Here. This is... Uh, this is the point where I turn back to the chat to see if I missed any questions, comments, or smart remarks. Like I said, you're welcome to join me in my Discord server, live.perillo.com. I usually only join other Star Wars Discord servers, though. Uh, I'm not going to do another house tour, probably forever. I think that that age that 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 that's past. Well, if I did open a variant, it's too late. Um. This is this is why I'm so grateful that um, uh, they produced the Clone Wars because Plo Koon was one of those characters that you just d demanded way more screen time. Uh, man, get this out of the damn plastic. Getting these things out of the damn plastic without bending them, I swear to God, is like next to friggin' impossible. Especially when, like, they jam both ends in. Damn, dude, come on. I don't like this at all. This is, this is probably, it's more nerve-wracking to open toys. There we go, okay. I only got a slight bend on it. Not much. It's correctable. Yeah, you can tell his hilt there. Some people love lightsabers. I'll be getting the lightsaber book, too, when it's produced. There's his hilt. Big hood, yeah, he's definitely this one's this this guy's got a big hood. I couldn't, I don't know if I could tell from behind because it's kind of tucked behind, but um, yeah, he's definitely got a big hood. So let's go ahead and cock his arm here for his blade. Get it in there. All right, I love his hand. His hands are very um, or is is it's easy to get a grip with this plocoon. Uh, I love the fact that it's soft goods. Thank you very much. Nice to see. Wonderful to see. Um, actually, I wonder. I may swap the. I may swap the lightsaber to the other hand, because I like his gesturing on his right hand. Hang on. Moment. All right. And sometimes the grip is so tight, it's impossible to slide weaponry in. I had that problem with uh, the. Uh, um, uh, Heavy armor Mandalorian, like almost impossible. Look at that. Yeah, so good. Plow, plow. Let me take the screenshot, so I'm not sure yet. 
Plo! Master Plo Koon. Plo Koon. Uh, lightsaber toy, like bigger lightsaber with sound. Uh, oh, speaking of lightsaber toy, just like I tweeted, I do a lot, like I, I mentioned that, like that's the that's the way to know what's in my mind at any given time. Um, I, I, I tweeted, uh, I may or may not have pre-ordered the Darksaber. Which I did. I had to. Come on, I had to. Wow, that Plo Koon is wonderful. Ah, oh, man. That's the thing I do love about the Black Series, is they usually nail the sculpts. Not my not my scale, but man. Just these the, you know, I and I loved Star Wars because the aliens, the droids, the creatures. That's, that's what that's what, you know, that's what pulled me in. So like even the Jedi when they're they're aliens and creatures and stuff, way more inclined to to get those and take those and unbox those. I will be opening the Anakin though. How's the face sculpt? Oh yeah. He's kind of foreheady. The Anakin sculpt is really he's he's got a big forehead. Looks better on camera than he does in person. Maybe he has a big forehead in general. I didn't realize that about Hayden Christensen. He's he's got a he's got forehead and a half. Forehead Skywalker. Uh, I think I've pretty much done everything I need to do. And besides, my my light over here is dying. I they, I have like rechargeable batteries in there though, so I'll just have to like juice them up. Uh, thank you for for joining for this live broadcast, which is longer than normal. Uh, because I'm here and I'm comfortable and I had some stuff that I wanted to talk. I had some things I needed to get off my chest. Uh, thank you. I, I'll be back again, I think, knock on wood, next weekend. Oh, it's the same body as Obi-Wan? Well, I guess that makes sense. I mean, why not save the... Uh, almost. Almost the same sculpt. Not quite, though. Not quite the same sculpt. Same body, though? You sure? Maybe I'm just not seeing the right thing. Uh, I love you, I appreciate you, and at this point I'm going to leave you to your own devices, and may the force be with you, always.